Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time now using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, welcome to today's video tutorial using Minitab and today's tutorial well, we're going to do an individual moving range control chart. Now, if you're measuring variable data, um, it would be preferable if you use the X bar R chart. The X bar R chart is the best chart and the most powerful. But if you, if you find that difficult to get subgroup data and individual data sets makes more sense than the individual moving range chart could be your chart of choice for your control chart use. So we have a little bit of data here. I'm gonna do the chart on model two. There's about 100 data points in this data set. 50 data points would be a good minimum number to have before you do this, but uh, we have a little bit more than that. So I'm gonna go stat, control charts, and you can see, look, control charts for individuals and then it says individual moving range I'm just going to click on that the usual mini tab window appears I'm going to select model 2 and then if I go to IMR options of course I have a chance of changing the tests um, so this is um, this is the one that I like to use. So the same as Stuart. Um, so four out of five, four out of five, two standard deviations from the. Um, sorry, not that one. Next one down. There it is. Four out of five, one standard deviation from the center line. So they're the Stuart. They're the Stuart based rules as opposed to the Western Electric rules. And then what this software will do is, it will do the check-in on your behalf. So it'll check these two out of control symptoms as we do them. So there we have the data set. I've set the two, the two tests. That's as much as I'm gonna do with this. And then I'm just gonna click OK. And here we have the IMR chart. Now you can see, look, it's done some out, out of control checking. I've got two, I've got two points that fall outside of my control limits, uh, which would tell me they're two out of control points. Now in theory, what I should do is remove those two out of control points and then recalculate the limits. Uh, usually the limits shouldn't contain out of control calculations. Um, I'm not going to I'm not going to go through that process in this case, but that would be something that you might want to that you might want to proceed with. Now, as I said to you yesterday, uh, do I use software for control charting? Not really. Um, only to do the calcs. So this for me is only to calculate the limits. Once I've got the limits, what would I do? Well, I would go to my hand-drawn uh, IMR chart, and then I would start to populate my IMR chart with the limits. These data points would already be on the chart. So I showed you uh, on a previous video with the X bar R data. So on this chart, I populated the limits. Uh, I'd already got the data populated on the chart. I added the limits. And then I use the chart at the point of activity live. It's a technician's tool. The control chart is a technician's or operator's tool. It should be live at the point of activity. So there's, there's the Minitab version of the IMR chart. Use Minitab to calculate the limits and then populate the manual chart. It's very, very straightforward. Let Minitab see the data um, and it will just calculate. There's very little to set up 
to do apart from setting up the tests. IMR chart using Minitab.